सर इट मे बी सेड दैट द फिनेंस मिनिस्टर इज वेरी हार्ड ऑन इंडस्ट्री एट प्रेजेंट एंड इट हैज बीन सेड सो इन मैनी क्वार्टर्स बट वी हैव टू लुक टू वन कंसेशन दैट ही हैज गिवन इन क्लॉज सिक्स रिगार्डिंग सेक्शन ट्वेंटी थ्री ही हैज रिड्यूस द परसेंटेज ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फ्रॉम सिक्सटी टू फिफ्टी आई थिंक सर दिस इज अ वेरी वेलकम फीचर दिस वॉज ओवर ड्यू बिकॉज इफ इंडस्ट्रियल कंसर्नस वॉन्ट टू प्लाव बैक द प्रॉफिट्स फॉर एग्जाम एक्सपांशन और फॉर रिकंडीशनिंग एंड रिनोवेशन दे शुड बी अलाउड टू डू सो दिस गिवज अस एन आइडिया अबाउट हिज इंक्लिनेशन विच इज दैट द कंट्री शुड बी इंडस्ट्रियलाइज एट अ फास्ट पेस एंड ऑन दिस अकाउंट ही हैज गिवन दिस कंसेशन he is giving exemptions in certain cases in order that the concerns may expand by not distributing any dividend in giving such exemptions i hope he will be very generous now sir i would come to the third point about depreciation allowance depart development rebate and compulsory deposit This has been a very controversial point amongst the industrial and business circles and rightly so in the bill as it has been drafted government have taken too much power for asking concerns to deposit a percentage on account of profits and gains before the 30th of june if certain conditions exist regarding reserves fixed assets and so on he has done this with a purpose and i quite understand it but the way in which it is put is simply embarrassing to those who are carrying on business and industry he has assured us that he will use this power in the most liberal manner but that assurance could very well have been implemented by having some changes in the clause which has been brought before the house because this deposit has to be made before the 30th of june because it has to be made before the 30th june you know that 90% of the concerns are borrowers and the borrower cannot be asked to deposit earlier therefore one month before let him know that so much profits and reserves would be exempted a borrower cannot be asked to make a compulsory deposit sir although the honorable minister has assured the house that he will be very liberal in this connection i feel that it should have been in the bill itself rather than in the rules if he at all means that as regards working capital no mention is made that the genuine needs of working capital will be provided in this rule for compulsory deposit because when the concern requires working capital it should be fully provided